I'm pretty sure most of my audience is going to recognize this picture. It's something called the Baltic Sea Anomaly. It was discovered, of course, in the Baltic Sea some years ago. I want to say 2013-14-ish. It's been explained away by certain disinformation agents as a natural formation. Um, I don't know how that could possibly be any reasonable human being look at this can see that it's not and of course there are images like this that show behind it there is a thousand foot long skid mark that uh, shows it did not form down there naturally um, about if my mem memory serves about 60 meters across to give you an idea of scale there's been all sorts of different measurements taken um, thermographic studies um, artist renderings, um, you know, personally, I think it's a Drolfi from Wing Commander. Just kidding there. But um, what if I told you that there is a place, not in the Baltic Sea, but in Antarctica, that shows something very, very close to this? I was doing some digging around today with Google Earth Pro and came across this. Now, I know it looks very strange, like it's just a windblown part of the snow, but when you get in close on this, I'm going to try to kick the lights down to give it better contrast. This is uh, 71 degrees, 1308.37 south, 1 degree, 50.08.62 west. Elevation 190 feet. And if you were to take this and lay it over that image, it's almost identical in every way. One of the things that you can do with Google Earth Pro, the version that you download for your hard drive, versus the web Google Earth, is you can look at historical data. And you can see what did this look like a year ago, two years ago, five years ago. Well, looking through this region, I found quite a few other anomalies as well. Over here, I found what looks like some type of a lone craft, not leaving any tracks, but if you look at this closely, whatever it is, is shining a headlight out in front of it. Now this is in the same reason, re region, I should say. Sorry about that. Let's see if I can move this screen for some reason. There we go. It's uh, 71 degrees, 51.40. 0.31 south by 2 degrees, 32, 14, 49 west. Now, that's not that big of a deal. I mean, there could be, I mean, there are human beings down there. Where it's heading is kind of odd. This strange blue glow. But trust me, here in a minute, I'm going to show you something that uh, is going to blow your mind. Looking at this here, when you look at it historically, I know this looks very blurry. But as we go back through time, this looks like a turret emplacement. Every click that you see here is a year back. We're back to 2013. But the year I want to get back to is 2012, as you can see here. This is the idea, the, the two, what look like, dual turrets. Now, the reason I wanted to get to 2012 is the imagery for Antarctica changes drastically in certain regions. I don't know why. I don't know what happened in 2012 that would make it do so. But over here... I found an entire field of objects that 
are not natural. It's a very strange region near this area called Cronowelt Island. Now as you zoom in, you look and you think, okay, it's just snow and ice. But for some reason, at this level, it uncovers something that is like another planet. The first thing that we notice is that it looks like the way this is fractured, it's almost like something tried to bust out from underneath the ice, like a giant fist was under there punching up. And you see these cracks that look like impacts from below. Multiple. Here, here, and here. Now as we zoom out and we go over here, you see how this becomes kind of a conical shape? It almost looks like, and I'll zoom out a little farther. It's kind of hard. You have to get this at just the right level. It's like there's been this type of an explosion field. And do you remember that ribbed look that we saw in the other video? It's almost mimicked here. Do you see this? Now, here's this field over here, and it's very strange that you can only see it. This is where, allegedly, the land meets the water and it was very hard to move through because it doesn't uncover until you get down to a certain level which means it makes it uh, very hard to find other objects this was the first one that struck me it's clearly got a track to it it's throwing some kind of UV from underneath it and it's almost perfectly rectangular one of the things that all of these objects will have in common, well, most of them, will be these strange 90-degree perfect angles with the UV light sitting in. And what you're looking at is actually very shallow water. Now I'm going to zoom out here just so I can kind of get my bearings. And I've tried to mark all of these. There's 10 of them. out here and to see this if you try to do this in 2016 leaving the date of 2016 it won't uncover you have to take the date back to September 24th 2012 to get this to uncover this way which seems kind of an odd date if anybody remembers what was going on in 2012 this perfectly straight edge once again with this glow to try to give you all of the coordinates for each one of these, just look for Cronwell Island and then go off to your, I guess what would be, to your left of it. Here's Cronwell Island just up and to the left in 2012. Now here's a giant field of them. There's no way that is natural. And what's with the UV glow on all of this stuff? I actually went out and got a, a FLIR for my smartphone, and I was reading up on how FLIR actually works, the science of it. It goes to wavelength. That's how it detects heat. And so whatever this was being, whatever was picking this up was picking up this glow in the, near the ultraviolet, violet, see if I can speak English today, edge of the spectrum. And I've just labeled these what first came to my mind. Where this almost looks like this was some kind of a hole cut out. All right, we'll go up to these two. Once again, triangular, partially submerged pyramid, maybe? And then just up next to it, this looks a little more natural, but once again, these sharp defined cut edges looks almost more like glass breaking than it does anything else. Here's the one that'll absolutely, there's no way. 
this is natural. There is absolutely no way on God's green earth, or in this case, kind of off green earth, that this is natural. This is an artificially created, somewhat damaged structure. I will give you the coordinates for this one if you want to start here. 76 degrees, 1203.45 south. 149 degrees, 5116.01 west. Elevation, negative 3,038 feet. So, underwater. This was the one that actually cemented it in my mind. That this field out here of items is uh, not a natural thing. And as you can see, we'll go to the last two over here. I think it's the last two. This one down here. They all have this glowing light and this is just this just honest to god looks like an entry port something cone shaped that goes straight down i mean and here we're at uh almost 2500 feet and it's just weird to me that this only opens up i think you can get this to open up in 2013 too but not in 16 and of course there's the water as you can see There's a lot more things out here I didn't mark that you can find for yourself. And I guess this is the last one. It's, you know, not as strange as the others, but it just, once again, thrown off UV just doesn't seem like it belongs. And as you can see, when you pull out here, this is where everything is is marked off. But like I said, start at Cronwell Island and just move around. I guess if you were looking at Antarctica, you would be you would start at I'll zoom out here. In this orientation with this up here, we'll call this sorry. We'll call this noon. It's over here at nine o'clock, just north of this large cutout. And like I said, you have to take the date up here in the corner. Sorry about that. You have to click on the historical date and go back. I have 9-2012. And you'll see this huge field of something that looks like either an explosion, a crash. I don't have any idea, but I marked... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12 things down here, and then back over on the other side of Antarctica, I marked uh, three things. The Baltic Sea Anomaly, I put Baltic Sea 2 here, and then just off to its uh, left, you'll find the uh, strange headlight and the thing that looks like a turret emplacement. So, anyway, that should keep you guys busy. Um, just, I'm, I'm almost at a loss for words for this, and I'm sure there's going to be a thousand different opinions, all equally valid. So, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Very much appreciate it. Like, share, subscribe.